Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotator, the Horde Survival Action Rogue Like itself, but modded though, because we're going to be checking out the ex Tonian mod here once again. Adds a bunch of characters, items, and weapons to the game, and today we're going to be popping over to Chunky to check out a new weapon. There's a bunch of biological weapons that are added to the game, and they all kind of have to do with, you know, health or regen or something like that. Today we're going to be checking out the, um, uh, the, uh, Meat Inspector? I don't know why it's called that. <laughs> I don't know why they picked that name, but we're going to check out the, the meat inspector. Uh, summons a walking companion that fires bouncing projectiles that do damage based off of elemental and max health. So that's why we're going to be using Chunky. Max HP modifications up by 25%. Percentage damage up based off of our maximum health as well, which is not going to be like a big deal for a summon. He is just straight up shooting alien eyes. Would you look at that? He's kind of cute. In a weird way, he's also missing a lot of his shots. Come on. Yes! Uh, all right. So, the thing is, three health... Three health or one elemental is actually a tough choice. Because, I mean, I guess we'll go for the health, because... We're chunky. We get a little bit more. Probably ends up being more damage on the, uh, the walking companion part at the very least. See what else we got. Eye gun. Uh, cute monkey is going to be a nice thing to have. But let's get the meat inspector. Toxic sludge, I think, is going to be a great item for us. We have half scaling on dodge, I think, right? Yeah, half scaling on dodge. Zero ability to gain or lose speed is another important integral part there. Like, those are going to be some interesting elements. Uh, but yeah, not being able to really get that much dodge, uh, we'll probably just end up tanking it right and we'll get uh, a bunch of healing sources we'll grab armor we'll grab lots of health all of that is what we're gonna plan on doing i guess i'll grab some engine or uh, hp regen which is also halved but i don't feel like i can get rid of that right now oh uh, come on give me the, give me the, the meat inspector uh <laughs> yeah all right we're we're <laughs> we're gonna be there today that's that's the space we are going to exist in here today but yeah, another thing is, these do look like they're bouncing. However, they look like they have something crazy like a 60% drop off, drop off or more. Right? It goes from 8 damage down to like, yeah, to 2. It's crazy. So the fact that they bounce almost doesn't matter. We'll, we'll certainly see. I guess I'll keep on grabbing more HP. Uh, cute monkey or toxic sludge first. We're gonna go for toxic sludge first. If you are gonna be picking between survivability and damage, I guess I'm gonna go for damage. It's the closer thing to picking econ, and econ is better the earlier it is. Uh, we just picked up material from far away. So that's the summoning set bonus, five elemental damage and a 30% chance to attract materials at max bonus. Biological being six max HP and four armor, which is actually like a crazy good set bonus that's so strong of a set bonus right there uh but hey we got all these guys running around the staff is doing pretty bad damage if i'm gonna be honest but that is a-okay hp regen i guess i'll take the elemental uh weird ghost can i handle it we're gonna find out Grab the meat inspector. <laughs> Snake, we could take on prospect. We are on a run where elemental damage is, you know, not bad. Not bad by any mean. Uh, burn being good. I mean, I would even go as far as to say <laughs> elemental damage is good on this run where we are using a weapon that scales on elemental. Uh, but, oh boy. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get sausage and we also have to sacrifice max health to get it. Yeah, it's only one, but still, it's like... I don't really like to take things on Prospect that actively harm me that much. I would happily take Pumpkin on Prospect today, which is not just the name of my band, but also something I would like to get in Rotato. I'd take Pumpkin on Prospect because uh, Piercing is super, super good with... Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Come on. Oh, baby! What's this upgrade here? Scaling up? No health scaling up, only elemental scaling up. Interesting. Did not expect that. Tentacle. 
we're gonna we're gonna try it out. Someone told me that uh, the familiars can crit, which is interesting. Because I was under the assumption, you know, probably that they can't crit because turrets can't crit. And that's... They're not the same thing. So, you know, I guess it makes sense that they could have a different set of properties. It just makes it tricky because I also don't know if... I don't know if they can be uh, benefited from improved tools then because they're not structures, but they might get that benefit. So I'll probably just play in a way where it doesn't matter. I won't really go for them. Or we'll grab other structures like garden and um, medical turret, stuff like that, so that it's good no matter what, like it does something. But we also don't really have a whole lot of attack speed uh, as it is, and by that I mean we don't have any. Check the crits, we'll see. Sharp bullet, I, ah, God. See, yeah, it's no structure, it does, I have zero. That probably settles it. I'll tell you what. I'll get Sharp Bullet because the projectiles don't pierce at all right now. Yeah, they're going to have terrible drop-off on their piercing. But it's it's that or nothing. And then I will be able to take Pumpkin. Not on Prospect. I'll just be taking Pumpkin because Pumpkin's good. I think that'll work for me. Not seeing crits happening. Okay, there's a crit. I saw a 21 crit. I saw a 6 crit. They can totally crit. Our weapons would not be critting for 6. No way would our weapons be critting for 6. That's a... Uh, that's a bounce shot. A shot that bounced and then crit. Okay. Alright. The question is, can we heal off of the critical kills from our summons? I can only assume and hope. Yes. I'll get some elemental damage. Ooh. Okay, so now we got a little bit of piercing, which means even more potential crits. All right. All right, that's pretty neat. But yeah, I'm hoping desperately that we can get healed up from those crits, which is kind of cool. Like, s sort of like screen wide lifesteal. It's something I've always wanted, right? Like, the thought of being able to lifesteal through turrets. Very, very cool sounding. Oop. Okay. And I guess this would be the closest thing I could get to that concept. If I could get a little bit more tentacle action going on. Yes, I said that. Uh, whoop. Well, it's meat inspector day, okay? Get off my back. <laughs> we, we started off wrong. <laughs> Uh, we got uh, the tree here. Please die. I'm not very strong. My weapon itself. I'm assuming it doesn't have... Yeah, it's not very good crit ratio. Uh, energy bracelet sounds nice. Boiling water is a tougher sell, but I think it's still worth it. I... I resent the fact that it only gets elemental scaling. I resent that fact greatly. It's kind of like a weapon that just happens to scale on health too, right? Huh. I kind of would have expected uh, more up there. But I'm loving the uh, the piercing. It's not doing a ton, but like, you know. It's adding to the uh, the whole picture of extra hits here. Which just feels nice, mixed with the crits. Bunch of tiny crits. Obviously, I've said it before, I'll say it again. You might know where I'm going. A really good day for Giant Spell. Congratulations, accept your your uh, your loyalty punch card uh, punch if you got that one correct. Yes, I would love a Giant Spell today. It would be very, very good. We've been playing a lot of builds where Giant Spell would, would really shine. Like, the funny thing is, builds where you crit a bunch, but don't do that much damage, is exactly where you want Giant Spell. <laughs> I'll grab some armor for sure. Nine max HP for sure, for sure. I'm going to buy. I'll take your entire stock. Give us an extra reroll. Alien eyes. There we go. Plant for sure. I don't think I can take alien baby. I can't really speed them up. I think that'll cause a problem. 
Uh, luck Dodge Lifesteal, absolutely interesting to me. But our first Alienize is a great find. Obviously, we're going to be stacking. We have even more of a reason to stack HP than we had before. So, yeah. I mean, I'll grab Elemental when, like, obvious Elemental items pop up, of course. Because, you know, it's a main scaling stat. But if I stack a bunch of HP, we're going to be getting percentage damage. We're going to be upgrading Alien Eyes. We're going to be... Uh, yeah, like, we're going to be upgrading the damage of this weapon. Albeit probably less than if we were stacking up Elemental. But the percentage damage we're gaining should help as well. Just because we're chunky, you know? 1% for every 3 max HP. It'll start to, you know, it starts to add up over the course of time. But I like that we got all the uh, the little fools kind of helping out, basically. Got the one piercing. Alien eyes. Fun fact, those can crit. Some, you know, people might not know. They can. It's a handy thing. I think they have a two times crit ratio as well. Spicy sauce, obviously good. Half dodge. Oof. I'll take a 6. I mean, I'm not going to say no to a 16%. Fuel tank is an obvious take. Uh, meet Inspector. We could take Mutation. I, I, I'm going to pass. It's not that it's not good. I'm just going to pass. Horde Wave. Two Horde Waves into an Elite. Would we be better at a Horde Wave or an Elite? I think we'd probably... I think we'd be better at a Horde Wave because of all the like bouncing and piercing weirdness that we've kind of got going on. I'd take a wild shot in the dark. But yeah, the fact we've got uh, spicy sauce as well. It's nice. It's just like, it's another weapon. Maybe like, well, isn't it a meat inspector run? Why are you taking all this extra damage? Uh, a meat inspector run, first of all, shame on you for implying I don't know how to make a meat inspector run. Uh, but I think that you got to look at it like, if this were a normal item in the game, a run with this weapon would obviously be taking things like Alien Eyes. It would obviously be taking things like Spicy Sauce. I think that that's part of the full package. And if you don't grab that stuff, you are intentionally harming the run for gimmicks. Um, hmm. Should have grabbed the crit chance. But I'm happy to get the HP. I'll get some HP regen, sure. Can't gain speed. Another Spicy Sauce. The Mind of Do. Lumberjack shirt. The Mind of Do. Max HP and some dodge, minus four speed. We don't lose the speed, but we also don't gain that much from this. It's like, not that impressive. It, it, I feel like it's a poorly statted item. Or, mm, I think it could be plus three HP, minus three speed, and it would still be questionable, but I would maybe see myself buying it. It's kind of expensive for how much speed down it brings. I'm only taking it today because my character can't lose speed. And even then, I'm like, I don't know, because I'm also getting half benefit from dodge. We're getting 3.5 dodge, 2 HP for 130 bucks. I don't know. Like, I'm, regret I'm regretting it. And we don't even get the downside of the item, which is probably a sign it's a little too weak, I would say. But yeah, pumpkins. If, if we can see any... Um, there's any blue tier unique items... I'm going to want to buy those, probably, as long as they don't actively harm me. Removing blue items from the pool will be very beneficial today, so we can find more. Oh, that's a great item. Two elemental damage for 7% damage down. I think it's fine. Pfft. Of all legendaries to get right now, I feel like that's just not a smart one. Blood donation, no. Eye surgery could be okay on Prospect as well, but I, I'm on wave 13 and I found nary a single sausage. No, not a single sausage. Oop. No festival to be had on the meat inspector run. Yep. Yep. It's just one of those days. The game, <laughs> the weapon just kind of... Just kind of puts it out there. All right, we're going to go ahead and smack this fool into the corner. 
Because we have actually like a lot of knockback. Getting some attack speed wouldn't be too... It wouldn't go too awry here just for like a... Um, a self-defense in terms of like knocking enemies away kind of a deal. So we have huge knockback. Ooh. So be cool to move some fools away from us. Be cool to get some more crit. Shouldn't have passed up the epic crit, but what are you gonna do? I think Broken Mouth's worth it. Clover's definitely worth it. Uh, Lucky Charm is definitely worth it. Wow. I'm gonna get some crit because I'm wild. Bag is nice. Boiling water's probably worth it. I just don't wanna on, you know, I was gonna say on prospect. No, on principle. Horde wave. What do we got on alienize already? 9,000 compared to what? Okay, 34 health recovered. I gotta tell you, there's no way in hell that we would have recovered 34 from melee attacks alone on a 17% crit chance build. No way in hell. So I am thinking that my summons indeed do give it to me, which is great. I am also thinking that this feels a little bit scary right now, this horde wave. Just get in there, smack him silly. I was hoping for some food drops so we could go in and explode them. We're getting a bunch of food drops, but none of them are exploding. No such luck there. All right. We're going to run out and uh, try and just survive. Come on, give me the big booms. Boom, 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 boom. Dude, every time we're running in the middle, we're not getting the boom. There we go. There was a good one. Good. Boom, 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 boom. More luck would be good, too. Uh, sure. I'll take I'll take it for free. It's like a legendary elemental, of course. Cyberball. <sighs> Cyberball makes sense. It just does. It just does. Another tentacle. Love to see it. Fertilizer, we could, but it also is kind of like too late for it to matter. Ugly tooth sounds divine. We don't get the speed penalty, but we do get the benefits. Whoop. There's an argument for um, two max HP, two melee damage minus attack speed. There's an argument for it, even though we don't use melee damage. But it's a melee weapon. I understand, but we all... Okay, how many times have we gone over this? Um, yeah, no, it does not scale with melee, obviously. And we do kind of want attack speed, but I think it could be worth it just to get the health. It's, it's a fairly cheap item kind of like partially balanced out by the fact that it does reduce attack speed. And while I would like to have some attack speed, it wouldn't go awry if we had some. It's also, it is not an important stat today because I'm operating under the assumption that improved tools will not work considering the fact that um, with ritual, they did not count as structures or sacrifice, whatever it's called. It did not count as structures there. So I don't think they'd count as structures. There, 1% damage for every 5 luck. I mean, I'll take this. Elemental down. Uh, candle's not bad. I just don't want to reduce enemies. Pumpkin, divine. Chest of gold, divine. Fuel tank, absolutely. Terrified onion, not interested. It's probably too late for this, but it'll probably... It'll probably pay for itself. 50 materials per crate is a little silly. It is a little bit silly. I am... A, uh, hmm. Not feeling confident about our ability to kill a mini boss. I think that we'll have a slightly easier time on um, the final boss. Since there's two of them, we do a little bit more split damage. But, yeah. Damage per luck and then getting the crate that lets us pick up food at max HP to gain more luck. Works out really well. Cool deal. Smack him silly. Okay, do not get hit just in case there's any food around. There was not. 8% damage minus 3% speed? Sure, why not? Tree? Sure, why not? It's 
It's a lot of range down. And not that much attack speed up. And we get dodge at half interval. It's sad, but I actually think that's a no. Metal plate? Sure. Metal detector? Honestly, probably. But I'm not going to do it. Snail is a really, really good pickup for us. Runes badge I don't want. Okay. We're holding our own okay with our actual weapons themselves, which is nice. Okay, that's even more upsetting. What is the legend? Where's the, okay, which one's the legendary? We have three legendaries, so it's probably these. Are they shooting more projectiles? Because nothing else seems changed. They're shooting... I think... Are they shooting the same amount? It, are you telling me the legendary doesn't do anything extra? That seems to be a, a reoccurring thing with the mod, is that the, uh, a lot of the item, the weapons don't actually upgrade very well, so that you could probably justify leaving them at commons or whatever. At least the elemental damage upgrades on this one. So the thing is, it's like, it's not that this that they're not good. Like, it's acceptable. Can't get speed. But it's also like, it was probably not worth the money. Respect her. That it all cost to do what I'm doing. But that ain't gonna stop me from doing it. Probably get both of these. I know Alien Worm and Garden at the same time. A little bit silly. Ooh, we are going to hate this wave. Unless? Unless? No, we're going to probably hate this wave. Can I kill an Elite? Honestly, it doesn't look like it. If I were to pop him with a whole bunch of Alien Eyes, maybe? Or we could get him with the Fruit Explosions. It's... I don't think I can kill him. It's not a very high damage run. It's again, it's it's sort of just the same uh, the same problem with some weapons in this mod, where it's like the legendaries just aren't that impressive. The legendary versions of them just they don't feel very they don't feel very legendary, which is fine. They're still good. Oh my god! Okay, he started to take a lot of damage there. So am I though. When he walks into the uh, the clump of my units, ah oh, shoot. I actually, I, it's probably a bad idea. I'm going to take that for the HP. HP. Oh, man. That would have been, I mean, it's going to pay for itself already, which is crazy. Get another free reroll. I'll definitely take Bandana. Is it going to be that good? Nah. And I know that, um, Sad Tomato is probably like a, what the hell are you thinking item? It's not going to be great on the boss. I will, uh, I'll attest to that. But I kind of just, I kind of wanted it. 4 HP regen sounds nice. It just sounds nice. I know it's 8, but we only get half. If I, if I die today, it's because I took Sad Tomato, but I'm okay with that. It's an on-principle pickup. If I play optimally, like, fairly optimally, it's a good item for us to have, right? That's the thing. It's a very bad item for a bad player to take, and it's a sometimes bad item for a good player to take. But, like, it's helping me right now. The second you reach max HP once... Oh. Oh. Oh, come on. Here's the thing. It's worth 87 bucks. It's gonna... It's gonna pay for itself. Bandana's probably not worth it. Ex experience up. Probably not worth it. Uh, Lifesteal. Nope, none of that's good. I'll take a little bit of that. I'll take a baby elephant, I suppose. One more roll. If only we found these in an opposite order. Could have upgraded this to uh, Epic. Got the Legendary. 
No, we don't want lost duck. I'll take another baby elephant. Cool. All right, we just kind of want to walk around and survive. That's like plan number one. All right. I would say at about this point, we could officially say that Sad Tomato is going to help me on this wave. Yep, Sad Tomato is officially a helpful item now. If I die, it, it's not, it is now, I can't just say it was Sad Tomato's fault, unfortunately for me. Because we, we made it back to full. At that point, it's, what are you gonna do? Come on, come on, let's get a kill. I'm pushing my limit here because I just desperately... Okay, let's let's get out for a second here. I need my summons to pull some uh, some weight here. They're just kind of sitting in the corners. They're not... I don't know. They're not doing a whole lot. They are not impressing me much at the moment. Weak stuff. Should have got more elemental damage. I got 39. I got 39 and tons of health. And you know what it needs? The H, the max HP scaling on the uh, the damage needs to go up. It needs to go up. <laughs> it can't just stay at freaking five into 10 for the whole run, man. Uh, 1% damage for every 2% or two max HP. You have five max HP minus 30 luck. That's a fantastic item. That is a fantastic item. One for every one for every two. It's it's just it's better than Chunky's passive. Uh, ironically, wouldn't be very good on the meat inspector run unless we wanted to do a lot of damage with the meat inspector itself. Uh, basically, what would my review of this weapon be? The same as uh, as the other summon. It's kind of like it's really good at common. Like the common version of this weapon is fantastic. The upgrades are very weak. Going from common to blue doesn't give you that much like yes if you're hyper focusing on elemental sure but if you're hyper focusing on elemental it's still only a 35 percent elemental scaling on it and then 45 on the uh, projectile yes it splits into three it's it's all right it's all right like it's kind of just i would say that the hp scaling on it is is kind of just a trap to be honest yeah, we got good damage on it. Like, we got 18 flat damage on it from that 45% uh, of our elemental. It's going to be roughly, eh, you know, getting roughly, it's, comp it's comparable. So, the fact that I hyper-focused on max HP and it's, like, it's maybe getting to the point where it's even with my elemental, it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad, I'd say. Uh, but alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. We got that extra unlock. We are going to be going to do, let's see. We got Well-Rounded and Brawler. Uh, brawler, I definitely want to do... Can you start with... You can start with the Severed Hand. I mean, it's an interesting choice. Uh, but, yeah. Alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day. Mod, you, can get, you can check out the mod for yourself. It's link in the top description. Thank you, thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.